Robot vac mops with automatic cleaning stations are great, but what do you do if you have a small space but big cleaning needs? Sometimes those base stations can be too big. Yeedy has a solution in the form of Yeedy Cube. The vacuum certainly has sleek looks, but does it have the cleaning power and the smarts to make it a fixture in your home? Let's find out. In this review, I'll try the robot out here in my home over several weeks to see how well it cleans, what it can do, and what it's like to use overall. And I'd like to thank Yeedy for sponsoring this post. Well, they're paying for my time to do this review. They've not told me what I have to say or what I can't say, so you can consider these thoughts my own. Yeedy Cube is the latest product from the company's lineup, and while Yeedy positioned the Cube as a more premium product with its self-cleaning and mopping features, its $699 US retail price undercuts the competition, making it a great value. Yeedy Cube offers a couple of key features that shoppers may find enticing. One is that it is both a vacuum and a mop with the ability to also clean and dry itself. The second is that it uses some clever design tricks to make its busy base station a lot nicer to look at. Let's dig in. I want to talk about the vacuum's base station here, as it is one of the vacuum's key features and it does help define the Yeedy Cube. The charging station, not surprisingly, has a squarish look and it is significantly shorter than many of its competitors. How Yeedy managed to make this station smaller is about to become pretty obvious. Now, it does have a small 1.2 liter dirty water tank and a 2.1 liter dust bag. Even so, the base station didn't compromise on more important features like the ability to wash the vacuum's mopping pad too. Interestingly, the base station uses a nubby grid that hovers over the base plate that scrubs the underside of the mopping pad to work out the dirty water and debris, then suctions it all up into that dirty water tank. You can actually see the mop scooching back and forth while it's being washed. So this grid helps keep the mop from sitting in any wet water, which is actually really smart. The cube will return to the base station to keep its mop clean about every 20 minutes, though you can have it clean itself more often if you prefer. When the bot is all finished its cleaning assignment, it'll do one final mopping pad clean and then turn on a nearly silent hot airflow at 104 degrees to dry the pad so it doesn't mildew. One other neat touch I haven't seen in a base station yet is a soft LED light on the front. You wouldn't necessarily know it, but the Yeedy Cube's compact base station doesn't have a clean water tank. Now, Yeedy intentionally did that since it decided to house the tank on top of the vacuum unit itself. The tank here is dubbed the UFO, and its one liter capacity may seem small, but the volume gets you surprisingly far. I was able to clean my home, which is about a thousand square feet, several times on a single tank. You can find one of the other handy design features on top of the vacuum. There's a rubber handle, which is useful when you want to relocate it, plus it helps you more easily remove and carry that water tank. Underneath, you get two corner or edge brushes and a roller brush, plus the flat vibrating mopping pad. The front of the vacuum features an IR sensor, which the Yeedy Cube uses to avoid obstacles. The vacuum is actually pretty good at navigating gently around obstacles and avoids getting caught up very effectively. Now that's actually important because if you have a robot vacuum that's not adept at avoiding potential landmines, it's always going to get itself caught up and then have to shut down. And that means it's rarely going to complete a clean without help from you. The fact that Yeedy Cube can look out for itself is a huge plus and it means it cleans a lot more effectively and can clean a lot more regularly. Setting the vacuum up is simple. Just attach the corner brushes and add a plug to the UFO water tank, then fill it up with clean water and you're ready to roll. The Yeedy Cube works with the Yeedy app, and after an initial mapping scout of your home, the cube will generate a virtual map of your space. You can then use that map to refine the room boundaries and rename the rooms, then you can schedule daily or weekly automated cleanings. Once you've connected the vacuum to your home network and start a cleaning session, you can use the app to track the vacuum's position in real time, too. Yeedy Cube also has voice control. Please scan the QR code on the robot. Under the hood is a 5200 milliamp hour built-in battery, and Yeedy says this will run for up to 200 minutes and 2000 square feet on a single charge. I can definitely confirm that it was able to clean my whole main floor on a single charge and would still head back with about 50% of its battery left. 
I ran Yeedy Cube around my house for about a week just to get a feel for how it would clean on a day-to-day -day basis. With two dogs in the house, keeping up with pet hair is always a must, and I found the Cube was easily able to manage pet hair and keep the house looking tidier. Next up, I ran it through my standard array of robot vacuum cleaning tests where I have it vacuum finer things like flour or sugar, middle-sized bits like rice or oatmeal, and larger cracker pieces on both carpet and hard floors. I also use wet and dried on liquid messes to test it. I found the robot was very effective at each of the messes, starting with the vacuuming. With 4,300 pascals of suction power, the Yeedy Cube can get most day-to-day -day dirt. Made for multitasking, it can vacuum and mop at the same time, leaving your floors twice as clean with just one use. When the robot's onboard dustbin is full, it'll return to the station and empty it into the sealed vacuum bag in the station, meaning you never have to get your hands dirty. Let's get on to the mopping. Yeedy Cube also boasts an ultrasonic scrubbing mop, which is able to add scouring power to the floor cleaning at 2,500 vibrations per minute. One of the things I really appreciate in a robot mopping device is the ability to adjust water flow level to provide either more cleaning or less dampening. And I like that with the Yeedy Cube, I can customize the water flow to give it a really good washing or to simply give it a light gloss over my hardwood floors, for example. So how does Yeedy Cube tackle carpet while it's trying to mop? The answer is carpet detection technology. The robot will lift its mopping plate off the carpet up to 8 millimeters, which means it can keep the wet mopping pads safely away from most carpet and rug surfaces. Overall, there's a lot to love about the Yeedy Cube, so let's run down the pros. The base station size gives you a lot more options for placement, and while it is more compact, you don't have to give up any of the self-cleaning features. I also like the innovative placement of the water tank. Right on top, it's also easier to keep an eye on the water level, even though the bot should tell you when it needs refilling. The vacuuming power is strong, and the mopping does a really good job. When it comes to the downsides, this bot isn't immune to getting caught on odd obstacles like a bar stool seat or a floppy rug, but fixing that is as easy as marking a no-go area. In short, you're getting a lot with this bot at a good price too, so I can definitely recommend the Yeedy Cube if you need a robot vacuum and mop with a more compact and attractive base station. Yeedy Cube sells for about $600 US and you can get it from Yeedy or shop the brand on Amazon.